What's up guys? So the Guilty Gear Strive beta opened up yesterday for offline only. Online functionality does not open up until tonight, but I got a chance in the online beta to try all seven characters that are included and I thought that I would give you my opinion on how I feel about the game so far and how I feel about each individual character. So uh, as for the game itself, I think the big thing this game has going for it is it looks absolutely incredible. I think this is probably the best looking 3D fighting game ever, with 3D graphics I mean. Like, it, it's just unreal to watch this in motion. The smoothness, the like effects, the, the real-time lighting, it's unreal. Uh, the only thing I'm not crazy about is the UI. The UI is a little bit jank to me. I don't like that the character portraits move as the life bars change. I don't like that the wrist gauge is tiny and it moves and the burst indicator moves. Not a fan of that, but other than the UI, which I'm sure they're still going to be messing with the UI, the game is still probably like five, six months away from release. Uh, so they'll probably keep updating this, hopefully. Uh, but enough about how it looks, how does it play? Uh, well, I think immediately when you pick the game up, it does feel very good to play. Movement is very responsive and fast. Normals and specials feel really satisfying to hit. You can start doing some basic combos pretty quickly, and with the new wall bounce system, you can do some really satisfying stuff that racks up a lot of damage. I would say that combo opportunities are reduced from where they were in previous games. Uh, a lot of your Gatlings, meaning your chaining from one normal into another, those routes have been removed for a lot of characters. Uh, so you're a lot more limited in what you can combo, but in exchange, every individual thing kind of does way more damage. So Soul especially is like insanely damaging. His command throw, it seems like you can't use Roman Cancel to combo off his command throw into big damage anymore. Instead, the command throw just does like 40% raw. And same with Potemkin, his command throw does like 40-50%. It's absurd. Uh, Axel is really, really enjoyable. Axel was my main in Guilty Gear x -Erd. I didn't play that game that much, but uh, from what I played, I really enjoyed Axel because I like that projectile keep away strategy. Uh, and just visually, I love the updates to Axel. I know a lot of people were not pleased that they removed his trademark shorts. He's got the long pants now. But uh, other than that, he looks really sick. I feel like the chain just feels so much more alive now. It's got a lot more like twist and bend to it as opposed to just being the rigid hitboxes that we saw before. Uh, he's got a few new moves. He can make explosions at the end of his chain. He has a full screen command throw, uh, which is kind of nasty. I have a feeling that is going to be a scrub killer online. And if you use the command throw up close, you can combo off it, which is kind of sick, but it does have slow startup, so you got to worry about that. Um, so far, a lot of characters only have one super. That includes Axel as well. Uh, he only has one super he can do, but I believe they are adding more supers. I know it's been confirmed that uh, even though Soul doesn't have Dragon install yet, one of his supers from the previous games, they are planning on adding it. So I'm sure they're going to do that with other characters as well. But uh, a few characters have two, but Axel only has one, uh, and a few others only have one. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed what I saw from Axel. His anti-airs seem on point. Uh, his keep away seems on point. He can combo off throw really easily with Roman Cancel, which is nice. Uh, he has some decent link combos with six punch, uh, which is like his anti-air punch. So new combo routes using links, which will maybe make up for the reduced combo routes using Gatlings. But yeah, as someone who kind of casually plays some Axel, I really enjoyed what I played of him. Uh, he's definitely a lot of fun, and he'll probably be my main in this game too. Another character that I used to play a decent amount of is Mei. Uh, so Mei is pretty different in this game. In Exerd, they had gone the route of making her more of a set play character, where your goal is kind of knock the opponent down, set up some kind of projectile, uh, while they're waking up and then mix them up with the projectile covering you and a lot of that potential has been reduced now She seems like she's just a straight-up rushdown character now She is just like E Honda or like Charlotta in Grand Blue or something like that She just wants to get in your face and do massive damage and massive damage. She does do uh, It's pretty insane, especially in the corner with Roman cancels and stuff Just like three four five hit combos are all of a sudden doing like 50% which is kind of wild uh, she's still a charge character. She still has, you know, the uh, charge back and then forward to do the horizontal dolphin, charge down and then up to do the vertical dolphin. 
So she still kind of has that like guile aspect or whatever to her. Uh, they are still leaving charge motions in, which I know a lot of games that have been kind of simplifying for beginners have been removing charge motions, but not this game, which, uh, you know, I appreciate they're leaving that in. I like charge characters. I think they're fun. Uh, so yeah, Mei, like she's got these huge supers. She actually has two. She has a whale one, uh, and then she has a orca whale one where she rides an orca you can combo into it does a ton of damage so yeah very very high damage character she wants to get in your face and kill you super fast uh, a little bit of her more like tricky projectile oriented gameplay is gone uh, but she's just there to mess you up real bad uh, Faust was really really cool to play I really enjoyed uh, the redesign of Faust a little bit. He looks very different from previous games, and his moveset is pretty much entirely different as well. Uh, but I really love what they've done with him. He is weirder and more disturbing than ever, but he still also has that element of slapstick and humor to him as well. Uh, he can do huge damage with uh, his 6H uh, overhead. And with this attack where he stabs you and then he hits you with uh, a golf club. You'll see right there. The item throw is still in place. He has a bunch of new items. I like the one where there's a trumpet on the ground. And if you pick up the trumpet, a bunch of little minions come and mess up the other guy. And both players can get the uh, items, worth noting. Some of them, like the trumpet. Uh, he can also do a command throw that leaves the opponent with an afro. Uh, at first I thought that this was just like a visual thing, like just for fun. But the afro does have a few interesting elements to it. It increases your hurt box for one. Like you can punch the afro and they take damage. Uh, and the other thing is if you hit them with a fire based attack while they have the afro, it will explode and give you some new combo rats. So that's kind of insane. Uh, it seems like they made him a little bit less of like a tricky uh, high low left right mix up character and more of a command throw oriented character. The command throw is what sets up the afro and it does good damage. You can Roman cancel the combo off it. And like I said, setting them up with the afro can be nice because it gives you some new combo options. So it seems like that might be sort of the basis of his game plan now. Uh, but I'm not really like a big Faust player from earlier games, so I'm not an expert. So let me know what you think about uh, the new Faust if you played him before. But I really, really enjoyed what I saw. He's really fun to play. Uh, really insane, bizarre moveset. Unlike anything I think I've seen in a fighting game before. So. A uh, big, big fan of how they've redesigned Faust. And I like him aesthetically, too. Like, he's so creepy now. He's like this weird zombie scarecrow. He really freaks me out, uh, which I think is awesome. I love stuff like that. So, big fan of the Faust redesign. I'm also a big fan of these stages. I mean, especially this one with the giant Buddhas. Like, this is unreal. There are a bunch of stages in the beta. I expected there to only be one or two, but I think there's like four or five, maybe? And they all look incredible. And the music is great, too. You know, I haven't been, like, the hugest Guilty Gear music fan over the years. It's not really, like, a genre that appeals to me. Uh, but they've done a really, really good job with it in this game. I love the cheesy vocals. I love the shredding guitars. It's really over the top and really enjoyable, in my opinion. Uh, playing Kai is probably the closest experience, I think, to the earlier games. Kai doesn't feel that different. He can still do all of the lame, cheap stuff he could do before. He still has that safe overhead. He still has fireballs. He can Roman cancel the fireballs to get some good pressure mid-screen. He's got good DP, like always. Long-range pokes that he can combo off of. Uh, Kai, I think if you're new to the game and you instantly want to win, Kai's the way to go because you can instantly pick him and understand what his game plan is supposed to be. He is going to lame you out with fireballs and big normals, and then he is going to uh, pressure you with his overhead and some of his lows. Uh, pretty straightforward character, but fun to play if you want to get a grip on the game uh, just starting out. And uh, very damaging as well. Like, you would think that only some characters would do the high damage, like Soul or maybe Potemkin, but everyone does big damage in this game. I'm kind of wondering if the damage is final. Like, is the end game going to have damage this high because it's a little bit ridiculous right now i've even seen 100 percent combos on twitter uh but it's worth noting that they're pretty situational like you need to have like the perfect wall spacing and you need to have a bunch of meter but still like 100 percent combos in a, a 1v1 game like not a team game uh it's kind of crazy but then again like super turbo is a great game and that game has 100 percent combos everything does huge damage in that game but 
Uh, it's a little different from what I think people who are used to the Guilty Gear series uh, will be looking for. But uh, Potemkin is also fairly similar to what he was like before. Still no dash. You just got a slow walk across the screen or use his charge attack, which has some armor to cover the gap. His command throws are just insane in this game. The damage on them is unreal. It's like le legitimately nearly 50% off of a command throw, uh, which I guess if it's gonna be really hard to get in, you better get a good reward for landing them, but man, it's wild. Uh, he has some of the best looking supers in the game as well. I love his anti-air grab super, which you can use to uh, check people who are jumping, or you can combo into it with his crouching heavy slash. Uh, so he has some cool stuff for sure. He still has the projectile flick. You can flick projectiles back at them. Maybe that'll help you getting in. Uh, definitely I get the impression that he will continue to be a sort of struggle character. I feel like even though, you know, Potemkin has been fairly viable in some games, I feel like it's always just hard playing a character like this who struggles to get in. You gotta make all the right reads once you get in, but if you do, man, you can kill them fast. I absolutely love this anti-air super with the animation where he goes up into space. <laughs> really sick stuff. The supers in this game are just beautiful, so I'm really hoping that every character ends up with like three supers. Uh, that's usually been about what's happened in most of the games, I think. Usually two or three supers per character. I hope we get a bunch of supers so we can see all these cool animations, you know. And then finally, Chip uh, was the final character. There's seven characters in the beta. I don't really know that much about Chip from previous games, so I can't speak too much about what's changed about him. Uh, but he still seems very much like a fast, mix-up, rush-down type character. He wants to get in there and start making you guess. Uh, he's got cross-ups now with uh, his Alpha Strike, or whatever this move is called. Someone can correct me if that's not the right name, but that move crosses up now for what that's worth. Uh, and he has an interesting wall run that he can use maybe to go for some mix-ups. Uh, he's still got a Rekka that he can go into an overhead option with, uh, but it is kind of slow, maybe a little reactable. It seems like a lot of his mix-up potential is going to be from strike throw, like most of the characters, or maybe from wall run shenanigans. It definitely seems like he might be able to do some tricky stuff with that. And even though, you know, he has a special move that crosses up, I don't know if that'll actually catch people in real matches or if that's just kind of a scrub killer, but a uh, very satisfying character to play. Because he's so fast, and I like that a lot of his normals keep the opponent standing, that's something I've kind of noticed in this game, is a lot of normals uh, knock the opponent down, which does further limit your combo potential. But not with Chip, you can do like H, or you can do like S, H, two hits of Rekka, Roman cancel it, and then the opponent is still standing, so you can do some pretty nuts stuff there. Uh, and the wall run, like I said, I've talked about this a lot, but I think it's maybe like his most interesting new tool. Seems like you can do a lot with it. Uh, he also has a command throw that I don't think I showed in the video, but it's kind of a ranged command throw that has slow startup. Uh, so he has a lot of options, I think, and the game in general seems like it has a lot of options. Even though the game is simplified, I have been having fun with it. I'm just a little bit worried that they might alienate their core fan base. That's the one thing I don't want to see, is people who are fans of Guilty Gear getting turned off the game because of all the changes. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that they, you know, have some concessions to keep the big Guilty Gear fans engaged. But regardless, from what I've played so far, I have enjoyed it. I have some reservations, but overall, I think it's been a fun time. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to the game? I'll be sure to have some online matches up on the channel once they open that up in the beta. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.